ERA 360. This was a combined VR and AR concept uh, that we created for a Danish client who approached us and wanted a different model and, and, and technique or platform for how to, um, how to um, bring forth their fashion graduates design projects. So what they would uh, normally do up until now was host an annual catwalk show at the Copenhagen Fashion Week. And there were some limitations to this. It's both bound by time, that it's a very short amount of time that, um, that you're showing something at, and it's also very location-based. And, uh, and if the right people don't turn up, then that's too bad. Um, so at Copenhagen Fashion Week, at any Fashion Week, really, you, especially if you're not that big of a brand, you really have to be loud in some other ways to grasp the attention of, of the audience. So we, we started thinking about, well, we wanted to make something more innovative for them. We wanted, of course, to integrate uh, immersive media, but also make it extremely distribution friendly and sort of um, freeze 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 time for a moment um, to captivate the audience within. So I won't really focus on the VR part for now, but, but more the AR um, aspect of it. Uh, we, of course, had to work with um, a methodology of it being uh, photorealistic. That's very important when it comes to the fashion industry that um, whatever you see online is also what you can expect to get in the real world. So we started working towards a concept of, uh, of sort of a pop-up installation. Um, and we wanted to take people by surprise. When you see a VR head mount, you don't, you don't necessarily know what you're going to be experiencing, but you have an idea it's going to be VR, right? But you don't exactly um, associate iPad with augmented reality right off the bat. So what we did was that we handed out iPads to the audiences and then asked them to scan the floor. And as soon as they've been doing that for a couple of seconds, suddenly they would be standing in the middle of 12 human life-size models, all of them being photorealistic. Now you can see on this video capture kind of how that looks like. So all of these models were wearing the creations of the different design students and uh, people were really into it. And, and I think the funny thing is that, you know, they were getting into um, such great conversations, but as you can also see in the background, like all the clothing was there in real life. So, so it, was, it was very amusing to see how, how that sort of triggered a whole other conversation on, on the garment. So people were getting up close, really walking around, interacting with them. You could even have your pictures taken, as you can see on the very right here, Maria and I doing a little squat, um, and, and sort of also so sharing that um, through social media. So you also kind of got a, a, a virtual uh, souvenir from it. We use the we use the practice of, of photogrammetry to make um, to make this uh, to make this realistic uh, looking, and um, and that really wraps up like what what era was all about that it was super distribution friendly and 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 I think it's it's really um, simple but it's also very successful uh, concept showing how important and how useful it can be to um, to engage your audiences within these immersive media fields. But ERA is really just only the tip of the iceberg when, when it comes to this. And especially because within AR, um, the main distribution for it is still mobile based and, and the majority of us do have mobiles nowadays. So it's, it really is a no brainer. A AR has mostly been used as a communication tool up until now and much less a storytelling tool. But the principles of that are also changing also in terms of the technology and what we as storytellers are, are able to um, to, to put forth in, in, in the world.